At about 7.15 p.m. yesterday evening, we received calls to reports of gunshots in Valton Road, uh, SE24. Officers, including armed response teams, attended with the London Ambulance Service uh, and the London Air Ambulance. And despite the efforts of the emergency services, two men, both in their 20s, sadly died at the scene. Following initial inquiries, we believe that two cars were being driven at speed in the Valton Road area. One of the cars struck a moped before colliding with parked vehicles. Now, the rider of the moped is one of the two men who died at the scene. And at this stage, there is nothing to indicate that he was an intended target. Tragically, we believe he was out riding his moped when he was caught up in this violent incident. Following the collision, an occupant of the first car got out and made his way down the road, pursued by a male from the second car who was in possession of a firearm. The fleeing male was shot and also tragically died at the scene. The gunman returned to his car and drove away. We are not confirming the identity of the victims at this stage, but officers are confident they know who they are and their next of kin have been informed and will be provided with support from specialist officers. Our thoughts are with the families and friends of the two young men who have tragically lost their lives. This is an incredibly serious incident and an investigation is underway at pace, led by the homicide detectives from the Met Specialist Crime Command. I know I share the feelings of the whole community when I say that I'm shocked and saddened by this incident, and I recognise the concern it will have caused locally and to the wider community. And we're already working closely with our partners to provide reassurance and support to residents and others that have been affected. There's likely there will be ongoing disruption in the local area while detectives carry out their urgent inquiries, including the continued closure of some roads. And I'd like to thank residents for their continued patience and cooperation. Local officers will continue to patrol the, the area in the coming days, talking to residents and being visible and providing reassurance. I would urge anyone with any information about this terrible incident to come forward, either to the police or anonymously to Crime Stoppers. Someone out there will have some information, will know who has been involved, and will help us bring justice to those responsible. Thank you.